Josh here at Fast Fuel Systems. With cold weather, diesel fuel could start gelling, create a no start, and clog your fuel filters. For this reason, to prevent that, we have our electric fuel heater kits. We're getting ready to install one on our Freightliner back here, and on this one we're going to actually be installing two of our heater elements. I'm going to walk you guys through the steps. Let's get it started. First step, we're going to remove our electric heater port plugs. Make sure you have a catch can to catch any fuel that might drain out of here. Next step, we're going to put thread tape on our heaters and heater bushings. I'm going to go ahead and thread both heaters into both of the bushings. All right, let's put them in the pump. Now we're going to put both of our heaters in our electric heater ports. Now you got to tighten them down with the wrench. Don't want to over torque them. Now we're going to get our electric wire harness here, put our ring terminals on. Got to strip the insulation off here. I always like to give them a good pull after I get them crimped. There we go, ready to put the wire harness on the truck. Now that we have our negative and positive battery terminals connected, along with mounting our relay up to the harness on the firewall, we're going to run our key-on voltage power through the firewall to the fuse panel. And on this truck, it's inside of the cab. Some models, it will be under the hood. And make sure you route the harness, however it's going to be neatly mounted and away from any moving objects that could cause uh, any abrasion against this electric harness. And since we are installing two heaters on this unit, we need to cut the wire harness and solder the second heater in. After we have our, both of our solder joints wrapped in electrical tape, or if you're shortening the wire harness, the preferred method would actually be to use heat shrink. You can reinstall the loom over your wire harness. I would wrap this with electrical tape to prevent these wires from pulling out of the harness. All right, we've got our wire harness secured. We have our ADA circuit tapped into our fuse panel with the key on power, and we're pretty much wrapped up. What you want to do next is turn the key on, get your fast running, just check for fuel leaks around the fittings you installed, and that's it, you're good to go. Be sure to log on to our website at fastride.com and check out our full line of diesel fuel system components along with our fuel heater kits like we just installed.